Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have another Madam Glam haul. They sent this over and I just went ahead and broke the seal because if you've been with me, seals and me, I struggle and sure enough, I still struggled on this one. So these are the colors they sent over. I asked for certain colors because I was like, you know, I really want to get some colors that I can build into my quote rotation of system and I asked for some soak off builder gels as well so I'm excited to try these so I asked for perfect white and perfect black because for me these are staples if you don't have these in your collection a white and a black then it's not gonna go well for you i'm being dramatic but let's get some swatches all right perfect black look at that that is a scrape down that is nice I personally, especially with black, rather have it be a thinner consistency and do two coats than one thicker coat, if that makes sense. So what I like to do, especially with black, for me, if you guys know, black is the bane of my existence. It is so hard for me. I get it everywhere and it's just, it is what it is. But that is one coat. I mean, that's pretty good on a one coat coverage. I, I'm kind of shocked. Perfect white. Again, a white and a black is a staple in your collection. I'm gonna see, I'm telling you, I'm a mess. Too much on my brush. And I just flooded the swatch stick. Whoops. We might need to redo that. I flooded the out of that. All right, perfect green. Give that a little shake. Really pretty green. I really like their perfect color shades. I mean, that's probably why they named the collection that they did. It's just really pretty. And I think this is absolutely a staple collection. They have a ton of beautiful, beautiful colors in this collection. That is so pretty. Next is Builder Latte. And that is exactly what I would expect to see. So I'm going to do a thin coat so you can kind of get the color if you were to just do an overlay. Kind of something similar to that. I would probably do two and then just kind of let it sit for a little bit because I don't know if you notice, especially with builder gel, if you don't kind of let it sit a little bit, pigmented builder gel, let me rephrase that, is that you will have a ton of lines in your application, but you can see it is completely blurred out. So I am going to take that bead as if I was working on myself. I probably should have taken it all the way back. Now I'm curious to see how I am going to work with these on a nail because you file a ton, but that is a super pretty color. I'm not sure if it is my color, but it is a really pretty color. Builder Sheer Pink. Again, I thought that was a lavender, not a pink, but when I'm looking at it in camera, it looks pink, so it's me, it's not you. Okay, I'm gonna do that same type of thing, going to apply a thin layer. This time I'm gonna take it all the way back though. 
and just come over it with a nice layer. There are not too many lines on this one because it is a sheer one versus the one that had a darker pigment. I should say light, not sheer, but I'm going to grab a little bead. I kind of just like let it come down on the brush so you can see that there is a bead at the end. And with Builder in a Bottle, sometimes I find myself, including with Jimmy Gel, I have to go in with more and I don't mind that. That does not bother me. Um, it might bother some people who are used to like a one bead method. I think Builder in a Bottle is so great for an overlay product. That's where I think Builder in a Bottle shines is an overlay product. It's not really an extension product, but like if you have a chip in the side of your nail, I think it's fine. Again, that's my personal opinion. And usually I like to flip the nail upside down. So when it levels, it will bring it back to that center. All right, so these are them all swatched. I ended up only doing one coat of each one. So I hope you guys can see. I think their perfect line is great. I am thoroughly impressed with that. Um, it goes with the other ones that I have, it's perfect. These ones I'm excited to actually use. Again, the brown necessarily isn't my color because I am so fair, but it's something I can have under and then do colors on top. Like it's not going to waste at all. So I'm so excited to have some more builder gels because you guys know I love builder in a bottle. Even though I have pink here, I've been really trying to do other ones, I'm just saying. so. I'm excited about these. Thank you, Madam Glam, for sending these to me. You guys know I have a discount code with them, so I will go ahead and link that below and along with the code. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.